What's going on, everyone? So, obviously, the Lakers drafted Jalen Huchifino and Maxwell Lewis. And I know a lot of people are a little down on Jalen Huchifino. I don't really understand it. One, look, the kid has shown flashes. He's shown the ability to do what the Lakers need and what the Lakers want, right? He's got good size, 6'6", run the floor. I want to see him kind of slow it down a little bit. I think Jalen Hood Shafino's biggest problem right now is he's trying to do too much, right? He's not letting the game come to him, but instead trying to come to the game, right? And once he settles in, I think he'll be a much better player, right? Like, great example was Max Christie, right? Last year, I used to say the same stuff about Max Christie. I, in summer league, I was out talking, you know, Max Christie looks like a guy that's playing to try to make the team rather than a guy that's already on the team. He's trying to do too much. He needs to settle in and let the game come. And we've seen this season, he's done a better job of that, and he's been doing really well. I know he struggled the last two games in preseason, but we've seen enough to know, okay, he's definitely taking the steps in the right direction, and he's going to be a very good player in the future. Shafino, I think, will be the same thing. The other thing is, too, Lakers' draft department has been A1. Right? So why would we think otherwise? Some guys take a little while to blossom. People didn't like Austin Reeves, like, and now look, right? Like Max Christie. People were complaining about the Max Christie pick. Now, you know, people think he's the second coming of Kobe Bryant, right? Like it's just like, let's be patient. Jalen Huchafino's 20 years old. He could spend the next four years just developing his game in, you know, some gym somewhere, and he'd still be younger than like everybody on the roster. Right, so like, let's you know hold our horses here a little bit before we're ready to write off Jalen Huchifino. I like what we're seeing from him. Uh, we definitely are going to need guards for the future, and I think he provides that. He can play both guard spots. Obviously, he's a project. He's raw. But again, most 20-year-olds are. Very few 20-year-olds end up turning out to be this star day one. Right, Even guys like Giannis. When Giannis was drafted, people thought he would be out of the league in a couple years. Right, and I'm not saying that he'll end up being Giannis, but you never know what these guys will be. Like, you know, even a Jokic, like these guys they didn't become, they weren't, they didn't walk in the league top players. And again, I'm not saying that he'll necessarily be a top guy, but I think he'll be good enough to justify the draft pick. But the big guy, Maxwell Lewis, he's the one that when we drafted him, he was the one that I talked about. I wanted. When I did my draft breakdowns and stuff like that and going through the various players, Maxwell Lewis was the player that I was super high on that I thought was obtainable for the Lakers. Lakers ended up drafting him, and he was the guy that I said, out of everybody, I think he has the potential to be a real star. 21 years old, 6'7", can play, you know, basically shooting guard, small forward, even play him power forward in spots. He's a great athlete, got good athleticism, good intangibles, great defender, great nose for the ball can shoot the basketball, took huge strides, huge strides with Pepperdine between the first year and the second year, right? This is a guy that was drafted in the second round, but I'm telling you, he is going to, I think he's going to be a real player for the Lakers. I think Maxwell Lewis and Max Christie are the two guys that have the biggest upside potential. Again, I think Jalen Huchofino will be a good player. I think he'll be a very good player. I think he'll provide what the Lakers are looking for. Sizable combo guard, that can basically play multiple... Like, I think he'll be like a a Malcolm Brogdon or something like that, right? Like, I think that that's what we have to look forward to. But Maxwell Lewis, to me, I think personally the sky's the limit. Seriously, I think he... I wouldn't be shocked if he's, you know, top 15 player in the league at some point, right? Like, I think he's a guy that can be excellent on both sides of the basketball. He is really standing out so far in preseason. Right, he's not getting a ton of playing time, right? He's kind of just, you know, the cleanup crew at the end, uh, him and basically the rest of the G League team. But he has shown some very excellent flashes. A lot of people in Lakers Nation right now are extremely high, extremely pumped on him, and they should be, right? Like this is a this is I, the future is very bright for the Lakers, right? Even post the LeBron James era, era, the the Lakers have a lot of young talent. They have, I mean. Again, you have Shafino, you you have Colin Caston, who I'm super high on. I I he reminds me of a young Marcus All, right? Hopefully he can be anything close to Marcus All, but even if he's not, even if he's just you know, uh, basically a slightly better version than he is now, a more NBA ready version than he is now, that would be fantastic. A uh, a center that basically can go shoot from anywhere, pass the ball, make plays out of the post. 
you know, be a, a sturdy defensive guy. Like, that's what you want. That's what you need, right? But then you look at, like, Demoy Hodge. Dude is absolute money, KCP clone. Just a guy that can can be a real cog for the Lakers. I think even this year, if we wanted to, right? Then you have, you know, Alex Fudge, who... Uh, he's basically Jared Vanderbilt 2.0. Oh, we also have Jared Vanderbilt. Oh, we also have Rui Hachimura. Oh, we also have Austin Reeves. Like, I mean, this team is set for many years to come. And then you have Max Christie, who, I mean, sky's the limit for him. He's 20 years old and already looks like an NBA-ready player. You have Maxwell Lewis, who, again, is 21 years old and looks like he can make an impact for the Lakers as soon as this year if you wanted him to. Right, I mean, in 15 minutes for the Lakers, just in the Kings game, we'll just look at the Kings game. He had seven points, three of five from the field, one of one from three. Right, he had a, a block. He had a couple nice disruptive plays. I mean, the guy is just getting after it on both sides of the basketball. You see, he's just a hyper athlete. Like, I could see him being like, and th- this would be great. And I'm not saying he'll be as great as him. But I wouldn't be surprised. I could see him being like a Paul George type player. Honestly, like, you know, a legit two-way forward that has good size, that can basically shoot the ball and score from anywhere, you know, make tough shots, defend the best player on the other team. Right? Like, I could see Maxwell Lewis evolving into that. He's already shown that ability on multiple fronts to be that. He's very young. He's very raw. You know, it's going to take him a couple years to kind of get into the swing of things. But I wouldn't be surprised if, you know, two, three years from now, we're looking at like an Austin Reeves, Max Christie, uh, you know, Lewis, uh, Rui, and AD starting lineup, right? And Maxwell Lewis just being a, you know, 15-5 guy, right? And averaging, you know, two steals or something like that. Max Christie being, you know, another 15-5 guy or whatever, you know, like... And and again, I'm talking year in two years from now, right? I, I I wouldn't be shocked if Maxwell Lewis and Max Christie are are like our two stars of the future, right? Like I wouldn't be surprised at that whatsoever. I, I I just think they're they're both showing the tools and intangibles to be excellent NBA players. Now, they should only continue to improve and get better. One's a rookie. One is in year two. One the Lakers believe is going to be a superstar in Max Christie. And I think Maxwell Lewis, I think he has all the tools. And he gets to learn from guys like LeBron James, right? Like, just to be a better player. Like, you know, granted, he's not 6'9 or anything, but, you know, again, 6'7", hyper-athlete, excellent vision, like, has all the tools you need to be a great NBA player. And then also to be able to learn from a LeBron James. Also have guys to go after and improve your game. Like Rui Hachimura, who's just a mid-range assassin. Got good size, good strength, good everything. You get to go and battle against him on a nightly basis. Jared Vanderbilt, one of, if not the best, on-ball defenders in the league. You have to deal with him on a nightly basis. Like, like All of those things make you a better player. Because now you're in training camp. And you know you're in practices and you're in whatever. And you have an elite perimeter defender basically doing everything he can to shut you down. You you have LeBron James to learn off of and learn how to be a great all-around player, right? Yeah, you, you have a Rui Hachimura who can help you, you know, be uh, you use your size, your strength, operate in the mid-range. He's a crazy hyper athlete, right? He gets to play against guys even like even like Cam Reddish who is a great athlete as well. Explosive do multiple things, can defend multiple positions, great defender, great on ball guy. Right? He gets to he gets to play with he's not it's not like he's coming to a team where he basically has to be the guy day one. He doesn't you know, he's basically the best forward we have day one. Right? I, no, like he's a guy that's may never see the court this year outside of like garbage time and stuff like that. But chances are he's probably not gonna see the court. And if he does, it'll be very little. And he just gets to observe. He gets to, you know, work on his game, develop. I'm telling you, in a year or two, Maxwell Lewis, I think he's going to be real nice. I do. I think he's going to be real nice. And it's nice to have these kind of guys. Because, you know, like, realistically, at the end of the season, we're going to lose several of our guys, right? Like, 
you know, it's very possible Cam Reddish leaves, right? You got Vando, you got um, Rui, they're locked up long term, but you know, we might lose a Jackson Hayes. We, I mean, we might lose several of our players, right? Also, LeBron. Like, LeBron could easily leave. I think if the Lakers win the championship this year or they're, like, super close, like, let's say they make it to the finals and lose, you know, in a tough seven or something like that, I think LeBron stays. But, I mean, he could very well leave, right? And it's like, well, what do you... Well, now we got to go and get back to the drawing board to go find new wings to, to make up for... And it's like, no, you got Max Christie. You got Maxwell Lewis. Right, you got Max squared, basically ready to go, right? And you know, obviously, you're never going to replace a LeBron James or anything like that. But you know, I think the Lakers would still be fine because again, you could have like a D'Lo Max, or you could have a D'Lo Reeves, a Vando, Rui, and AD starting five. Great. Then you could have you know uh, a Gabe Vincent, Max Christie, Maxwell Lewis. You know, can you can you keep Jackson Hayes? That would be nice. And then all you need is just go get another player, or maybe Shafino, right? I just the Lakers are set. And they have two very nice, promising young players that I believe are gonna make huge impacts. Uh and are gonna be the guys that we're talking about leading these Lakers for you know the next twenty years. I, I I'm I'm really pumped. Max Christie, Maxwell Lewis, sky's the limit for those two. Again, I really like Jalen Hutchifino. I think he has a, I think he has a ceiling, right? I do. I think he, I think he can be a very good player, no doubt, no question. I just think Maxwell Lewis and Max Christie, th- those are the two like star potential guys. Those are two guys that I think you know could. I wouldn't be shocked if our top ten players at some point in the league. Not saying that they will be. But I'm saying I think that they have that potential, right? Where Shafino, I mean, he would have to take ridiculous strides to get to that point. I think he just needs to take even just small strides. I think he'll be an excellent player, an excellent rotation piece. I think he could legit be a, you know, I think he could be a 15-5-5 guy, right? Like if you're talking about JHS. 6'6", has shown the ability to fight through contact, all of that. Like, I, I think that they'll be fine, but... Anyway, as always, this is the discussion, so I pass a question on you. Let me know your thoughts and opinions down in the comments below. What do you think? How do you feel about Maxwell Lewis? Do you love him? Do you like what you're seeing with him? Do you think that he has the star potential? Do you think, no, he'll just kind of be another guy? How do you feel? Whatever your thoughts are, love to hear it. Let me know down in the comments.